Like I said, like I promised, you feel me? Found another gym. This actually is better. Full performance. I got a way bigger turf area, you feel me? Stuff specifically made for like sports. The music loud as hell, you feel me? I hope it's not like drowning out my, uh, my, my mic. I'm just glad to be at this spot. I, I wish I would have came here first, honestly. Yeah, I got here earlier because I had like an athletic exam for it because I wanted to see if I was doing everything right. It turns out I was doing, I was doing the right lifts and the right exercises. He said my order was fucked up. So I'm supposed to do all of the running stuff and stuff first and then lift after. So that's the change that I'm going to make. You feel me? I'm gonna probably get in this my uh my routes, my plyos and shit first. You feel me? And then do the lifting and stuff after. So I didn't want to not be recording for two days. Would have been crazy. So I'm about to get this shit rocking. Man, like I said, bro, I don't know how loud it is. You feel me? I don't know how the music is until I get in post production. It seems pretty loud because the the lower shit, the lower audio shit is like that. It's jumping, but we gonna start off with my fucking uh, like jumping off this. I'm gonna do four. It's it's four hurdles right here. So you feel me? I'm gonna do only probably two if I do single leg. Right now I'm gonna do like it's called depth jump. So basically I'm gonna do from here. You feel me? Landing on two and then from here landing on one I, I got headphones on with the noise cancellation i can still hear that shit, but or i'm gonna see what i can do editing wise to uh like just drown that music out and then just have my voice playing but we're gonna see man we worry about that shit later man rough really this is just just warming myself up I came out that last one just because I was like closer than what I wanted to be. I'm gonna just move it, move it out more. This next one should be way better. Hopefully, I ain't about to jinx it. So, I really almost bust my fucking ass that first time. Oh, let me get a thumbnail. But this one, this one gonna be a little crazy. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm about to be doing the same thing, but it's gonna be sideways, you feel me? I don't end up busting my ass, but I should be good. I done done this a million times, but you know, ain't nobody exempt. And because we gotta go both sides, I'm gonna do three. So three on one side and three on the other side. I'm gonna do five. I don't know if y'all seen it, but I almost fell, bro. I feel like a fucking cat. You know what they say when niggas start burping? You know what's next, man. When you burping, that's normally the first step. Nigga, I'm gonna bust my fucking ass the first time. So right now, we about to hit the uh, hit the motherfucking single leg. I don't know how how many I'm gonna do. Probably gonna do like we're gonna see five, minimum five though. I can't remember how many I did with my my man PJ. Uh, we used to do these shits. I can't remember. I'm gonna just say six. If I feel like I'm gonna do more than I'm six to eight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that six to eight. <clears throat> 
Fuck around hit 10, honestly. So that's one. Two. Uh, seven. I'm gonna just say six. Seven. No. Ten. I didn't turn my damn watch on. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nine. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to work on. It's like kind of reaction time type of joint. Reaction. I don't know what I'm trying to say, bro. Basically, I'm going to be like right here. Cross over like this. This also working on my hip. Basically, I'm going to be going over this shit like this. Huh? Huh? Boom. Huh. And come over. I picked the bigger hurdle. I don't know if that's going to bite me in my ass. I probably should go get the medium one. But we're going to try it. My goal is to do this shit clean. If I can't do it clean, then I'm going to go down to the medium. <laughs> So that was cool for one. That was cool, but for one, I need to come out faster. And for two, I need to stick it and open up this way. I mean, I should probably do crossover because that's what I'm doing. And tech, actually, I'm gonna do open up because I do open up when I'm blocking. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna open up. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do it one more time if I can't get it clean. Clean and fast. I'm gonna just go down to the medium. <laughs> yeah, this is. We about to go down to the medium one. I know I can get it when I'm crossing over, but I want to exaggerate that opening up my hips just to work on my hips more. You feel me? Two, did three. I didn't even say how many I was doing. I did three. I probably did six. Six. I'm gonna do six on both sides. <laughs> it do feel weird to like coming on cross. And then open it up. But you feel me? That's why we're here. So I gotta, that's just something I gotta work on. There is blocks to where you gotta like cross over, feel me, and then square back up. Or open up like this, boom. Or that front running the dig, boom, come out. But I don't really run digs like how they be telling you to do at the camps, like they be telling you. Like, uh, uh. like that shit, niggas don't do that shit no more. Niggas do snap down, so boom, boom, boom. Uh. Then you come out. Got uh, two more. I'm gonna switch. I'm going to the other side. It's really only hard to open up because how I'm, how I'm coming back over, it's like boom, boom, and then going out like that. Which is why I say it's not going to be ever realistic because. If I'm coming, if I'm coming and I'm opening up like this, I'm gonna start from a base like, like that. You feel me? Then I'm gonna open up. But if I'm already crossing over and coming like this, I'm all, I don't really got too, too much to like open up. So that's why I'm saying it's kind of hard. You feel me? If I was coming out of a narrow base, then I could open up faster. But that's why I'm saying it's kind of hard. But if I get it good down in that like, Wider range, you feel me? It's gonna be easier in the game. Niggas <laughs> just turned the music up. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this shit. <laughs> So tell me why I was looking for a close, a quieter spot. And whole time, it's literally on the other side of the gym. So that whole shit I just did with all that music playing, she got copyrighted for no reason. It's a turf field right there. Everything I gotta ask for, man. Like I said, I always say, bro, you're living and learn. Man, I, it'd be good for the next time.
If I did a leg press machine, I ain't did a leg press machine in a little minute. We're going to do probably like 12 of these. The tricky thing with the leg press machine uh, is I don't know how much weight this actually weighs. So I can't really gauge how much is on here. But I got three plates on there to start off, see how it feels. That was pretty easy. I might have did 13, honestly, but that was pretty easy. So we're going to go up. We're going to put uh, another set of 45s on there. And I think that's pretty much how I'm going to go up. I'm going to just go up, go up by the 45s. And then the next time I do this, I'll know, like, my gauge, basically. I know what's heavy from me. Know what's, what's a good working weight. But that shit was pretty easy, so we're going to go up. That was pretty easy too, but it was it was a lot better for me weight wise. I'm probably going one more forty five. So right now, I'm about to uh, hit, I'm about to do chest a little bit, and then I'm going to go over there and do some deadlift. December's because, like, this month really going to have to be, like, my best month, you feel me? I'm about to get my diet straight. I need to figure that out however I can get that straight. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about just going, like, a greens and meat type of situation. Pause. I just need to find somebody who can get that to me. I just really got to figure out the money situation, bro. That's really all it is. I swear, bro. It's like when I go to the store, bro, it should just be expensive as fuck, bro. I was paying $50 a week for my meal prep. You feel me? I go to the fucking store. That motherfucker, $100. Basically, $100, 100 and something a week. You feel me? I'm for a week's worth of food, bro. It's $100, bro. Cut out the candy. Like, this month, I'm not eating no candy, bro. I got to cut that shit out. You feel me? And I got to... I'm gonna try to substitute for something. I like the stash shoes and shit. I'll probably just be getting a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of the stash shoes. I, mean, I got a snack. I'm a snacking type of nigga. So even when I was at school, they gave us snacks. So like they'll give us like Welch's gummies or they'll give us like them little waffle shits. Like, it's like the little, I don't know what they is. Like they want, like if you were athlete, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like the little circle waffle where they be having like strawberry, fucking chocolate, fucking meat. Like banana or something, uh, peanut butter, shit like that. You feel me? And then they'll give us like, like nuts, paws, uh, some other shits. They not slim gems. They the like you bite them and they hard as fuck. Like uh, jerky. They give us. They used to give us like jerky. So they used to give us a lot of shit to snack on. So it's like, I don't know. I'm doing all this shit myself. It's kind of. Uh, my fucking go-to is just to be in the grass and candy. But I need, I need to cut that. I'm going to cut that shit out this whole month. You feel me? We leave in January. We leave January 8th. So, yeah, I'm going to cut all that shit out. You feel me? This whole month, I'm going to try to get all that shit out of myself. Because I know, like, <clears throat> I just weighed myself. And I'm, I think I'm 160. Yeah, I don't want... Not 160. I'm 260, you feel me? But mainly that shit just like me being, when you eating a lot of candy, like you probably can't see it on my face because my face is normally like slim. But like, um, when you eating a lot of candy, and this is like my natural weight, like, I'm gonna be big, you feel me, regardless. Like, even if I'm like out of shape, like, I'm, I'm, I'm in good shape now, you feel me? But in my tip top shape, I'm around like, 250 and 245 so i'm not really off like i'm only 10 pounds over what i normally weigh so it's not gonna be hard for me getting it down but that 10 pounds is basically eating for candy so we're gonna cut candy completely out i'm gonna try to just go for greens and fucking 
meat called protein. I'm gonna just say protein. Um, yeah, this is me. I'm being transparent, y'all. Like, I ain't gonna sit here and cap to y'all, but it's not nothing that ain't hard to get down. I done lost way more weight in a short amount of time, shorter amount of time, you feel me? So, I just know once I flush everything out of my system, I'm gonna be straight. Plus, I'm, I'm moving straight now, you feel me? And then once you add, like, the football element, like, me blocking, you feel me, me, like, them, them going through different reads and shit, it's, like, it's gonna be cool, so. I ain't, I ain't worried too much. I just need to run more. That's what I need to do. I need to run more. So I'm gonna get that into a habit. I'm glad they got that little straightaway joint, because I hate running on treadmills. And I just like, I, I rather I have them just a little straightaway where I can actually just run them, you feel me, on the ground rather than just going on the treadmill. So, yeah. So we about to hit the, these uh, joints and then we're gonna go in there and deadlift and then I'm gonna be done. Oh, I gotta do abs. <clears throat> Say, if y'all got a routine for me, show me that I can do that'll help. Let me know if I do that motherfucker for me. As long as it sounds good and it's like conduct conducive to football, you feel me? I do that joint. I know like the basic shit, like because I've been doing pretty much the same shit for years, like like them deadlifts, power clean, squats. They pretty much like the main football lifts. You feel me? If you got a trap bar, hit them trap bar deadlifts, you feel me? Basically just shit out of the squat, exploding up. From me, and then I, the plyos is a big part, but the rest of the shit is like hit or miss. Like obviously chest and stuff to chest. You feel me? Arms back to make sure you good. Like blocking or like receivers. Like honestly, you really don't gotta do upper body. Like you don't, you gotta do upper body, but you don't gotta hit it that hard. You feel me? Because you're not really using upper body strength. Lineman. Lyman pretty much got a harder, harder than everybody because they got to hit everything for me because they sliding, blocking, you feel me, running. So they're doing pretty much everything. Tight ends is pretty much the same, you feel me? But me personally, I use my legs more to block than my upper body, which I do. I do use my upper body a little bit, but I like to drive, you feel me, when I block. So I do a lot of legs. I focus on a lot of my legs and explosion and shit. So I'm going to just... Yeah. And another thing to do good is core. So, I mean, that's just the stuff that I've been doing, like, my, my whole college career. And then every, like, strength coach that I ever got, that's kind of what they had me doing. But, like, I just noticed we didn't really do a lot of upper body. Like, we did upper body, but it wasn't like, you know how, like, niggas be, oh, I got to get chest. You know, I got this chest day. This is, I mean, it's not like that. But, yeah, it was never like no... Like when I was in college, they were never like upper body day or like specific day to where what I knew for sure, we was doing something legs until like we used to have like two sets of something. Like whenever we did like arms or like something like that, it was only two sets and we'd do like two sets of 15 or two sets of 12, shit like that. So <clears throat> uh, bench, we benched, we benched a lot. I ain't a lot, um, but that was pretty much it. Like all the other like, other, all the other stuff, like, the main lifts was probably, like, we didn't even, like, I'm not going to lie, Towson, we didn't even do ab work. Like, what what we used to do was our ab work was kind of, like, like, in the workout, basically. Like, the ab work was, like, in the workout. But we never, like, focused on abs. That's just something I do on my own, you feel me? Because I, I just want to have a stronger core. But at Towson, bro, I never did. We never did abs. Bro. Like, you would have had to, if you wanted to, like, have like crazy as you had to do the abs on your own because we like we never did that shit. We did abs at uh Morgan and Boo, you feel me? By the time we never did abs, it was more just explosive stuff. I was real explosive and like I was cutting real fast. Like my shuttle at more at Towson was a four three, and my I don't I forgot what my team I split was, but I was out. 
I ran a 4 2 one time. It's like I was real fast from side to side. You feel me? I was never really like straight line fast, but I ran good routes. So if I got a certain amount of separation, like I'm not slow as fucking dirt. So if I get a certain amount of separation, like niggas not catch me. But <clears throat> yeah, I just would like to get like in that type of shape back, which is why I'm doing the workouts that I'm doing. I mean, like, like I said, I'm not no guru, but I remember what worked. So I'm just doing what the fuck worked and how I feel is good. So. You know? I'm not gonna lie, contrary to what everybody believes, like this shit, it's really, you know how they say like football is more mental than physical, you feel me? Like, I feel like, like exercise in the weight room is like 20% of this shit. Like, I could, I like, because I've been working out for so long, and so many years, like, I've been doing this shit since high school, my nigga. So that's like, what? Damn near, but I'm 25. Let's say about like, let's say about like eight years. I've been doing, I've been doing this shit for like eight years, bro. And just imagine, bro, I've been lifting three, three from the threes, squatting in the threes from the since high school. So if I don't, if I say, if I take time off or like, like I did uh, this year, I took two months off, you feel me? I came back still lifting 315, you feel me? So you don't lose, like you lose muscle, like you lose strength, like I probably don't, I probably like my first week, I wouldn't have went up to like 500, you feel me? Not saying that I couldn't have did it, but I'm just not, you feel me? Not that type of thing. Like I'm not about to just go try to do what I did, you feel me, before, but mainly the shit, why people, like, say a person take a break, you feel me, but they've been lifting for years, you don't lose that, like, strength. Because some of it is also technique and muscle movement. So you don't lose that, you feel me? You just lose how you look. And, you feel me, say if I have took a break, but I was eating real healthy, I would have literally looked the same. You feel me? But, like I said, bro, like, this is my first time, like, being on my own type shit. Like, normally, like... How, like, this shit just, like, kind of make me realize like, how, how much college used to baby me. And it's just, like, that shit just crazy, bro. Because, like, you literally got everything, like, spoon-fed to you. From, you don't got to do shit. Like, you literally just go as long as you where you're supposed to be at on time. You feel me? Everything's done for you. You, me? you got treatment. You feel me? You working out. Like, some of the shit you don't even, like, recognize. Like, like how I got to get up and come down here like you literally just going through your day like you wake up go work out you feel me go practice go run you feel me as long as you where you're supposed to be on at the same time you're going to look a certain way all just off rip just off you being there that's why i always say like getting there is the hardest part you feel me as long as you're there like you're automatically going to look a certain way you feel me? and then you if you you go to lunch on time you feel me they feed you good food so like you gonna have good food that you eat so it's just like no nah, i don't know right that's it now, I've, I've been doing everything else right. I just need to get that eating shit together. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I would have, like, ate good, you feel me, while I was taking my bread, like, I would really still look the same. That's the big difference. Like, you you eating is probably, you eating and resting is 80% of this whole thing. And then, you feel me, working out is probably, like, 20%. Working out is really, like, I, I know a, a lot of people that work out, that, I don't work out, you feel me? They just run, you feel me? But they got a real good diet, and they fucking, like, cut up, like, you feel me? Naturally, you won't be strong. Like, all, it, it depends on your genetics, obviously, but, like, just naturally, you feel me? If you're feeding your body the right things, it's going to look like you're feeding your body the right things. So this is the last set, and then I'm going to go to hell there. Oh. 
right now we're about to do uh what deadlifts. I'm gonna do ten, three sets of ten. You feel me? The guy recommended that I do lower reps and go up in weight. So I'm gonna do three sets of ten of this. Like I said, I wanna be like build endurance while building strength. So I'll probably keep trying to push for like higher numbers with heavier weight for real. Uh, 10 to 225 and then for, I'm gonna go out to 315 and then I'm gonna probably do eight. I might be able to just go out to 3 315 and do 10. Literally, the only thing that be like hurting is my fucking hands. My hands be killing me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I got shit. I gotta take a shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I gotta take a shit. That's what's really haunting me this whole workout. I don't know, I know why it waited till like I hear it to creep up on me. I wish it did in my house, but I gotta take a shit, bro. Everything about to die. I ain't charged shit. My headphones about to die. My phone about to die. My camera about to die. My my headphones about to die. We still gonna do 25, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna, it's two new ones that I'm gonna do. Throw it in rotation. I'm gonna do side planks, but instead of because we can't do I just won't feel right doing 25 seconds. You feel me? So we're gonna do 30. We're gonna do 30, and that's gonna count as one workout. It's not gonna be 25, 25, and that's gonna count towards the hundred. Then I'm gonna do side planks 25. No, side planks 30 seconds each. You feel me? And then I'm gonna do Russian twist. 25, is that four? One, two, then I'm gonna do the heel touches and that's gonna be the four. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, 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 one, well, that for me, like, I know if I don't turn my head, then I'm not going to go fully rotate. You feel me? So me, I try to follow the ball. And that, this is just for me. You feel me? Other people set my, t set my clock for 30. I wish I had 20 pounds, but fuck it.
Just like that, we are. That's the end of the workout. If you made it this far, I love you. You're really a real nigga. And we're just gonna keep pushing day by day. Make sure you come back tomorrow because it's gonna be a video tomorrow.